and just play our little doodle. Okay, you heard it. And now I turn Maximus on and hear the difference. So it's already sounding a whole lot better. And uh, while you're trying to equalize your Vocaloid, you will suddenly realize that it sorely needs it. So, next we go to our three sand channels. Well, we stay with the Vocaloid check, but we're going to turn their volume up now. <coughs> Down here on these knobs. I'm going to put in a lot of chorus now, just so you can hear the difference. So that's with hard chorus. Well, we're going to turn that down a bit again, so it's not too strong. And reverb is very important because it provides uh, acoustic to your voice. So it sounds like it's actually sung in a big room or hallway, and uh, there's it's uh, some kind of echo, but it's more like uh, yeah, more like you're singing in a big room. Just like I said, just listen to it. So that's nice, isn't it? And the delay, of course, well, it adds some delay, so it's going to repeat itself and get weaker over the time. I'm really going to turn that up now. Okay, you heard it. So I'm going to turn it down again a bit. And the reverb is fine and the chorus as well. So we're going to leave it just like that. And now the parametric equalizer. Just click on it to open the plugin window. And this is a very powerful plugin. It's a multi band equalizer. And the white thing you see in the middle here uh, that's your equalizing curve actually. And you manipulate it by uh, putting those uh, seven different bands up or down. And of course you can uh, decrease the number of bands, uh, that's no problem. You can for example go to presets and uh, choose free bands or peaking only, that's seven bands. And it's the standard setting, but of course there's no equalizing now because the bands are all in the middle position. So here on the outside you can put the whole curve up or down, so that's just for uh, amplitude manipulation. <clears throat> and here you have your seven bands. Those uh, things up here choose how your curve develops after and before that special band. If it's like this, it's gonna uh, just be drawn up or down by the band. It's uh, usually the best setting for uh, a wide variety of equalizing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the low bands all the way down, 2, 2, and 3, and the high bands, 7, and 6, and 5, and 4, I'm going to pull up, okay, 3 a little maybe, just like that, and I'm gonna change the curve on 1, so it really goes down and on 7 so it really goes down as well now I just put the whole thing down a little like so and what I did now I cut the high and low frequency bands and now the voice is gonna sound like it comes from an old radio telephone or something in that manner it's uh, an effect I use very often and it's uh, very nice, especially because of the whole Android theme Miko and the others have. So I'm going to play it now. Okay, and um, that mainly concludes our equalizing tour. And of course there are loads and loads of different plugins and they all do different stuff. Maybe. You want to take a closer look on, uh, let's see, the stereo enhancer, 
uh, sound goodizer is uh, the preset I show you in Maximus, but it's also a separate plugin if you don't want to take the trouble of presetting your Maximus. Then, uh, of course, the parametric equalizer, play with it. It's the parametric equalizer 2, actually. Uh, the multiband compressor is very effective. Uh, let's see, the law filter gives some kind of delay -ish effect. It's very strange, but also interesting to play with. The fruity limiter is uh, very practical if you have some instruments that are much louder than other instruments. It can normalize your song a little bit. And, uh, well, then of course there's hardcore and gross beat, which is very nice. Hardcore gives you an e-guitar-like effect, so for voice it's maybe not so good, but gross beat is very nice, it makes uh, frequency manipulation and gating. Gating means that only in specific time intervals the frequencies are cut and it can give your voice a trace-like effect, a uh, trance-like effect I mean. And uh, yeah, try them out, they're all very nice and they can all really enhance your song. And uh, that concludes our little tour on how to properly equalize Vocaloid 2 in Fruit Loop Studio. And next time I'm going to show you how to equalize separate tracks of different voices from Vocaloid 2 separately in Fruit Loop Studio. So that you may apply some effects onto one voice and other effects onto other voices. So, have fun, stay cool, and uh, have a nice day.